Hello, welcome back to another Faith Connections video. I hope you're having a great week. I wanted to continue talking about our leadership, our Global Leadership Summit Conference that uh, the staff attended a couple weeks ago. We uh, had some great speakers and they gave us this participation guide that we could take some notes in. And the conference was kicked off by a pastor named Craig Groeschel. Um, he's become more the person in charge of the Leadership Summit. And in his talk, he gave permission to obsess. That might sound funny, but one of the quotes he was saying is, people will cheer on your, per your passions, but will take you out of your obsessions. And he wanted to give leaders permission to obsess. Because he kept saying this over and over, greatness is born in the extremes. And I don't know about you, but for me, in leadership or in ministry in general, we tend to obsess over things. And many times we get taken out of our obsession. But I think a lot of the greatness is found in obsession. And if we do really lean into our obsessions, I think we're going to find more of what God is calling us to. And so at the end of his conversation or his talk, he, he actually concluded with three questions or two. But the second question has two parts to it. So I wanted to ask you those questions today. And I don't know if you've maybe even thought about your obsessions, or maybe when you think about faith, you don't think about obsession very often. But faith has a lot of qualities that are in it that really cause us to obsess in a healthy and in a good way. But the questions that Craig ended his talk on were these. What breaks your heart? And I don't know if you've thought about that, but right now in your life, think about that question. What breaks your heart? And he follows up that question with two more. What drives you crazy? In your life, what drives you crazy or makes you righteously angry? I'm going to um, put those questions um, in the comments for the, for the video. But I'd love for you to take time this week to think about those questions and write those down. Prayer, like prayerfully go through those questions and see what God leads you towards. Because obsession is not a bad thing. To obsess over something, uh, like Craig says, obsession, uh, obsession will find a way. And we need more people obsessed about ministry, about people, about leadership today more than ever. So um, I'd love to know your thoughts. Comment, whatever you want to do. Um, talk to me at church. Email me, text me, whatever. I would love to know your thoughts to those questions. I hope you have a great rest of the week. Go, go in grace and peace.